up the Project JR guy? Project and Project Dean. Project JR guy here from the 8 bits. And today we're going to be talking about trash talkers over Xbox, PS3, whatever console you want to talk about, or even PC. And also we're going to be talking about how Anonymous has been attacking a lot of websites in the UK lately. And also a kid in China sold his kidney for an iPhone or an iPad. I'll give my opinions on that later. Um, it's probably one of the most unique articles I've ever seen. But yeah, first we're gonna start off obviously with trash talkers. Well, the thing about trash talkers is honestly, I've trash talked a little myself, and it's kind of fun. I it really is. It's really fun. And yeah, speaking of trash talking, I'm getting a brand new headset. I got the um, MW3. Um, Air Force Delta, like the best one from Turtle Beach that you can get. I'm really excited for that to come in the mail because I've been putting a lot, I've been putting some hours over at my dad's work warehouse lately, and I've been getting paid a lot of hours, and I'm really thankful for that. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm getting that, and it should be coming in the mail. I ordered it the day before yesterday, so I'm really th so Wednesday. I'm filming this on Friday. So I really do think that it's going to be here either today or tomorrow. And if not, then it's going to be here like for sure Monday. But anyway, yeah, I'm getting off subject here. But, um, trash talkers. I mean, they're, they can be annoying sometimes, but they're overall, they're just really... I think they contribute well to the community as a whole. And I'm probably thinking, whoa... How do trash talkers um how do trash talkers contribute to the community? Well, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, sorry. Well, if I like make a lot of weird noises like coughing and sniffling and all that, it's because for those of you who had pollen allergies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The allergies outside right now are terrible. I was watching um the weather and the well, I think it was on TMJ four or something, but um. They said that the weather right now, it's one of the worst years ever for people who have pollen allergies. So yeah, this year is going to be terrible. But but anyway, <laughs> I don't even want to go on that whole path. I'm like, change, I changed the subject twice already in this video, but who cares? It's my show. Deal with it. But um, anyway, yeah. Alright, for trash talkers, if you, if you look around at all the great clients that are out there, like Optic, Phase, um, what are some other big clans? Well, there's like the only two I know because I used to run my own clan, but I didn't really look at the big clans. I just care about more about my own clan rather than like be like, ooh, Optic's gonna go against Phase or whatever. But, um, yeah, whatever. Um, I really do think that they contribute well to the community as a whole, and it is fun to trash talk, even if you don't. Especially if you don't really mean it. But, yeah. I don't know. Just my personal opinion. But, anyway. um, Alright, second topic. Anonymous is attacking the UK's websites. Now, I think it's because they're, they're doing it in protest of some of the bills that are going on in Parliament right now. And, I really do think that Hacking is not the answer. You do a peaceful protest and your voice will be heard. Not shutting down all kinds of websites. Because people are going to be like, okay, well maybe they're just having some technical issues and they get off. They're not going to know. And Anonymous, what you're, what you're doing is just extremely dumb. I mean, really, come on. I qu quit hacking people, really. It's, it's kind of annoying. Like, as much as I hate PS3 with my guts, I really do feel sorry for the PC... For the PlayStation 3 gamers, though, who had to deal with that month of no video games. And no one should have to go through that. I mean, sure, like, I kind of joke around and say, well, your, their service is free. That's what you get for paying for cheap, free service. But, but, um, still, I mean, no gamer really should go through that. It's, it's intolerable. And Anonymous is just, I think Anonymous is really just starting to kind of put across the line here with people. And I think... 
a lot of people are going to start cracking down now in many different countries. They're going to look for these guys. They're going to they're they're going to they're going to eliminate the main leaders. And I'm that thinking, well, anonymous can never be destroyed because everyone's like anonymous. But if you take out the main ringleaders, you'll be surprised at how fast it can fall apart. But anyway, yeah. All right. My third and personal favorite subject for today. A Chinese teenager sells his kidney for an iPhone or an iPad. Now seriously, you're, I love electronics and technology. I absolutely love technology. But you cannot, in my opinion, you cannot sell parts of your body that you need to possibly live. For a piece of electronic equipment. Of co unless, of course, it's like, well, you know, I needed to give my kidney to my grandma because she, she needed it. Or I needed to get rid of my kidney because it was failing and I needed a mechanical one. That's different. I'm talking selling your kidney or w whatever body part. Selling something off your body that you need to live. Like, I mean, your hair, obviously. It doesn't really matter. Because I know, like, Athletes will, like, cut their hair and, like, they'll sell it, like, for breast cancer or whatever. But a part of your body that could kill you if you get rid of it. That's that's my thing. Because, in my opinion, I think people who do this are really sick in the head. Because, really, who... Why couldn't you just wait, like, I don't know, well, either get a job, A... Or if you don't have a job, then wait for your birthday money. I mean, come on, really. It's not worth selling your body part over. And the parents who let them this kid do this, shame on them. Seriously, shame on you guys. Because there is no way that I would sell any part of my body. Of course, maybe, but besides my hair cutting it. Besides, yeah. <laughs> There's no way that I would sell any part of my body for anything. Just for a little piece of electronic equipment. Now don't get me wrong, I use my phone a lot. I use it at least, I use it hours upon hours a day. I mean, some people, it's a different story, but still, if I had the choice of getting my leg chopped off or whatever, whatever to keep my phone, or if I had to get rid of it if I didn't get my leg chopped off, you know what? Oh yeah, that's my watch. I don't even know where it is in my room, but the alarm just like goes off whenever it feels like. I would not chop off my leg because no part of your body is worth that. No part of your body is worth going through the pain and the knowing that you could possibly die. No, just just even knowing that. I mean, really, come on. Wise up, people. In this society, as my dad always says, I really do think I'm not getting smarter. People are just getting dumber. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah. Um, peace you guys. See you later.